Hey everybody, it's Alyssa with So Fancy. Happy Friday. I know it's Friday. I'm usually here on Thursdays. We had such a gloomy, dready day yesterday, so I didn't make it on. But today, I'm here, and we're going to craft um, the February bundle. You guys get an extra day in February, because tomorrow's leap year day. You get an extra day to get the February bundle. So you still have a chance if you have not gotten it yet. It's still around. It will be here till tomorrow night, 59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go check it out. There's, there's so much in there, so many different designs. There's fonts. There's such fun things. But if you guys have scraps like I do, I've got tons of scraps. This project is so much fun to be able to get rid of. Let's see, I used 10 different pieces on here. 10 different pieces of vinyl. And we're going to make a sign. Um, I'm not going to lift it up yet to show you because I'm going to flip you down because I have it kind of laid out. But the cute thing about this, as I'm stepping on some tape, um, you can move it all around. One of the designs in the February bundle are some Easter eggs. And the way that you'll see it on the website is I think that there's nine and they're just in a block. And I thought, how much fun would that be to ungroup them and make each one a different one and put them on a sign and then take one of the fonts in the February bundle and just put out Happy Easter. I'll show you this part of it. It's backwards. But so I've got, let's see, I've got on the sign, we're going to have pattern vinyl and solid Caesar easy weed. So cute. I'll give you a little, another little, um, preview. So that's just one of the eggs and I think it's cute. I'm loving it. We're going to use our mini because I did not take the canvas off the back of the frame. We're going to use one of the canvas boards kind of like I have them here kind of like these um, that are on the back which when we do a reverse canvas we cut it out around it take the frame off all of that I didn't want to do that today I want to leave it on the frame um, and kind of have it frameless but you could do it either way like I have a frame for this if I decide to later because I have a reverse canvas that didn't work out and I've got this pretty pink frame that I could just put right on top and put it on later. So it will work um, either way. But for right now, we're just going to leave it on. Put that down so I don't break it. And I'm going to show you what we're doing. So I, I think you guys can see. I hope you can. I'm going to fix this a little bit. Okay. So as you can see... We have a lot of different elements here. We've got the glitter eggs. We've got two glitter eggs. I've got four patterned, and then I've got three easy weed. And I'm just going to put them in just like a block like this, and then at the bottom, put on Happy Easter. And I'm going to put this part on first, and then I'm going to lay my eggs out. And my patterned vinyl, I need to mask, but I'm going to use the transfer tape from my Easy Weed. So, first off, I've got this. I have a book dictionary behind this to give me a little extra um, support to use my mini. If I was going to put this onto my heat press, it wouldn't be a problem and I could just do it. But this won't fit on with the frame. So, and I don't really, I'm just going to do this. And I think we're going to be just fine. Because I can move the book as need be. Which is really nice. And we're going to do these just in steps. And it's going to be wicked cute. I think. What's everybody up to today? I love to know. What? And this is where you move your book over. I'm sure my kids will be thrilled that I'm using their um, 
dictionary as a backer, but we should be good here. I will repress that down. Sometimes you just need a little bit more. I can just put this right back on. And so the February bundle, 1999, it has, I believe, 166 different elements in it, files, dis, uh, designs, everything from, I love that. I love, I love this color. Um, everything from Easter, it has, um, Valentine's Day, it has, so I'm going to put these here. I'm just going to lay them out first to make sure I'm okay here. And I do like this. So I'm going to put this one on uh, here. That's a nice thing. You could take these eggs and separate them and put them on a onesie. You could put them on a t-shirt. You could use all of them. You could use one of them. These can go on the front of cards. Um, Melissa put a really cute thing up to use wrapping paper, which use vinyl with wrapping paper. And these would be really cute. You could put these on the back, on the outside of a pot. Um, and put some lilies in it. So I'm gonna put this one here, move this over, and put this one here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this transfer tape that my Caesar is on, and I'm gonna mask my pattern vinyl, which I did grab a sheet in case I needed it of mask, but we're using scraps today. It is a scrappy day. Oh, need a little more in there. So I'm going to use scraps, all scraps, which again, great way to use up your stockpile. Now, when you've got pattern vinyl, I think you guys are all good seeing here. Put it down. Burnish, burnish. And it looks like I may have missed a piece in here. That's a nice thing too, because then you can reverse weed on here. And I did miss a piece, I believe. No, I missed some triangles, it looks like. Nope, I did not. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. I'm doing this upside down, so bear with me. Um, and I'm okay if they're a little wonky. I may even move them around going up and further rather than keeping them Andy Warhol style. Um, I flipped you guys down so I can't... I'm going to keep this mask just in case I need it, which I do for my next row. So I'm going to do that again. Just put it right on. The static is now garbage. Your static backer that your um, pattern vinyl is on. Don't need it anymore. And I just alternated patterned, solid, glitter. I just used what I had. Um, but I thought that this was a cute way to get rid of some scraps that I had. You could do all of these in like a monochromatic type um, way. Or just keep going. You could add flowers around the outsides. Um, lots of different ways to use this file, which is so cute. I love these eggs. When I saw these, I was I knew I needed to use them somehow. Um, but I think it's, this is fun. Like I like, and I didn't have to think too hard about what matched and what didn't because I was just gonna make it all match. And again, I'm gonna use this 
my mask on here. A little warm, but that's okay. There's a lot of pieces in these eggs, which is fun too. I mean, they're all different, which so much fun. Um, put this here. And these minis are perfect for little, uh, little signs like this. You could add extra around if you wanted. Make this as jazzy or as not jazzy as you want. Um, I'm going to put my glitter here. I'm going to move my book over. So this is so easy with the book underneath and, and a mini. If you don't have, move it down, sorry. Um, if you don't have a heat press or a mini, this is a great project for your irons. Um, so until you can get your heat press or your easy press or a mini iron would be great for this project for just starting out crafters and I cut all of these on my cameo four and I'm loving my four more and more every day um, the mask I cut some felt yesterday with it it's I'm loving it I know that there were some hiccups or some issues I, I don't care. I think I like it better than my three. Can I believe I just said that? Um, because I was pretty um, not comfortable with getting it out of the box because of what I'd heard, but loving how it's cutting. So if you haven't given it a chance, do so. Um, and last one. Make sure I got my book, my dictionary, and scrap, scrap, scraps. So cute. I think it's cute. I hope you guys do. If you guys do, show me some love. It's very hard to not want to iron with that mini. So I'm going to flip you up, and I'm going to hold the sign up. Um, so how cute and if you took it off the backer and put the frame around it I'll show you with the frame it might not be exact size but huh, I might have to go take it off and staple it onto the back because that's wicked cute like that isn't it I think I like that better so I will take it off the back and or off the frame that it's on and staple it onto there so yes Kathy this is a just a canvas um, that we use with our reverse canvases all the time this is an extra frame that I had laying around um, and I just didn't take it apart I wasn't sure if, which way I was gonna like it I do like it like this so I will probably work on cutting it off the frame that it's on and stapling it onto this one and I'll, again, I'll take pictures for you guys and put it up for you so you can see it. But how cute. Great way to use up scraps. And again, doesn't have to go on a canvas. These would be cute on a onesie for a little baby or a little girl. On, I was trying to find, I had this. I thought about putting them around here, around the side of a cookie tin. This was one that we made before um, on a live, but we could put another saying on, you could put it on this, but there's so many different ways to use these. You can put them on a plate, just anyway, cute. So happy Friday, happy scrapping, scrappy, scrappy. Have a great weekend, happy leap year. Grab the February bundle, it's here until tomorrow. You have an extra day, no excuses, and we will see you next week. Thanks. Bye, you guys.